Okay? So let us look at the 2019 paper 2 biology, which is the same. Figure 1.1 shows red blood cell placed in different solution. Okay? So I have got solution A and solution B. So a red blood cell was placed in solution cell A, which is a red blood cell, which was placed in solution A. Then on the other side, uh, a red blood cell, which is cell B, was also placed in solution what? Solution B. So it's like we had uh, two red blood cells. One, it was placed in two solution A. Then the other one was placed in solution B. And these were the outcomes. Okay, these were the outcomes. Okay, so the results. So here lies uh, after placing or imaging cell A into solution A, after some hours, uh, the shape of uh, the red blood cell, which is cell A, is changed. Okay, as you can see, these are different in terms of the shape. Okay, meaning something happened. Okay, similarly, equally to cell, cell B. Cell B, as you can see, the first diagram inside, it is showing uh, a red blood cell immersed in cell, so solution B. So, this cell B, it was put or immersed in solution B. Then afterwards, this was the result. As you can see, uh, the cell busted, meaning it had, it had to undergo what we call lysis. Okay? So this one had to burst. Okay? Now, the question is saying, uh, state the type of solution in which each cell was placed. So looking at cell, cell A, looking at the result of uh, cell A, you can tell to say cell A was placed in what we call a hypertonic solution. Hyper, hypertonic, hypertonic, hypertonic solution. Then B, it was placed in what we call hypo, hypo, hypotonic, hypotonic, hypotonic solution. Now, what is uh, a hypertonic solution? What is uh, a hypertonic solution. So a hypertonic solution, it is a solution whose concentration is higher than the concentration within the cell. So hypertonic solution, I'm talking about a solution whose uh, concentration is higher than the solution within or inside the water, the cell. Okay, a hypertonic solution is a solution whose concentration is higher than the solution inside the cell. Then hypotonic solution it is uh, the opposite. So uh, hypotonic solution, hypotonic solution it is the solution whose concentration is lower, lower than the concentration inside the cell. So hypertonic solution it is the solution whose concentration is what higher. It is higher than the concentration inside the water within the cell. Okay. Then hypotonic solution is a solution uh, whose concentration is lower than the concentration inside the water, inside the cell. So in this case, what happens is if you place uh, an animal cell, okay, to be specific this time around, we're talking about a red blood cell because a red blood cell is an animal cell. Now, since we're not an animal cell, has no cell. So what happens is if we place this animal cell, which is a red blood cell, into this uh, hypertonic solution, what happens is this animal cell is going to lose out water. Okay? It's going to lose out water. So it's going to lose out water by osmosis. So it loses out water by osmosis. So as it is losing out water by osmosis, uh, osmosis the size, the size uh, decreases. The size decreases. So the size of this cell is going to decrease, okay? It's going to become smaller, and then it is going to be wrinkled, okay? It's going to be uh, wrinkled or shrinked, wrinkled or shrinked, and this condition is what we call uh, crenation. This is what we call crenation, a situation where um, an animal cell or a cell, in this case we're talking about a red blood cell, sorry. Red blood cell losing out water by osmosis, 
causing the cell to what? To wrinkle or shrink. Okay? Now, this condition is what you call crenation. Crenation is a condition where, where uh, an animal cell loses out water, loses out water by what? By osmosis, causing it to, to wrinkle or shrink. That is what you call crenation. So, this is crenation one by as this cell loses out water, it decreases in size. It becomes what? Smaller. Now, since it, it is what? Decreasing in size, eventually it becomes what? Wrinkled or shrinked. It becomes what? Wrinkled or what? A shrinked. Are we together? Yes. So, this is what we call crenation. So, this is what we call crenation. 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 Okay? Then, we also have uh, this situation where this red blood cell it is gaining what water by osmosis. As you can see, these these arrows they are showing the movement of what water molecules entering into this what uh, this cell, which is the red blood cell. So as water keeps on entering into this uh, red blood cell, this red blood cell it increases in size. Okay, it increases in size, increases. So I say it increases in what? It increases in size. The size increases. Now the increment in size it makes this uh, cell to what? To swell. Okay? It makes this uh, cell to swell. That's causing it to burst. So this one it, uh, it swells due to too much intake of water or gain of water by osmosis. So the more it gains water by osmosis. It, it increases in size. Okay, the increment in size causes it to swell. As it swells, it finally or eventually do what? Burst. Okay, as you can see at this particular stage, it has, it has now bursted. Okay, this is what you call, and this situation or condition, it's what you call uh, this is cell lysis. So I say, what is going to happen in this case? As you put this red blood cell into this uh, hypotonic solution, uh, water molecules. This cell is going to gain water molecules by osmosis. Mean osmosis is going to take place where the water molecules are going to be entered into this water, into this cell. Okay. Now, as water enters into this cell, it's going to to increase in size, which is going to eventually cause what? Uh, swelling of this. This one is going to become, become what? It's going to swell. Now, as it swells, it eventually does what? It bursts. Okay. As you can see, the cell has now bursted because this animal cell has no cell. So since it has only a cell membrane, it bursts. So this is what we call cell, cell lysis. Okay, this is cell at this is at what at P. So it should be so. So uh, cell A was placed into a hypertonic solution and cell B was placed into a T. Uh, an hypotonic uh, water solution. Let us look at uh, question P. It says, explain, give an explanation for, for your answer in question A. They want us to give an explanation uh, for each situation uh, at A and at what? B. Okay? So, for cell A, what can you say? Pretend to say what has happened. Okay? Pretend to what has happened to cell A? Okay? So you say cell A cell A does what? In this case it was losing out water. Loses loses water loses water by OC osmosis loses out water by osmosis which causes causes it to to wrinkle or still same uh, shrink okay or what is or, or shrink this This condition is called 
This condition is called uh, crenation. This condition is called what? Crenation. So I think cell so A loses, loses water by osmosis, which causes to causes to what? To weak or shrink. This condition is called what? Uh, crenation. Then what about B? So B, I'm going to say cell B. So B gains, gains water, water by what? Gains water by osmosis, gains water by osmosis, okay, gains water by what happens, which causes, okay, which causes, so the gaining of water by osmosis causes, Causes it, causes it to, to swell and then eventually, eventually, eventually burst. Burst. And this condition. This condition is is called cell lysis. lysis. Okay. So I say cell A loses water by osmosis. Now, as cell A loses out by osmosis, I said it reduces in terms of the size. It decreases in terms of the size. Okay. That one is to, to weak or shrink. This condition is called cell creation. Okay, or creator cell creation. Then cell B, what happens? Cell B as cell B loses out water by osmosis. Uh, it causes it to swell and eventually burst because it increases its cell positive. In this case, it uh, decreases the temporal the size. As it decreases, as cell A decreases, uh, it shrinks. This condition is called what? Creation. On the other side, pertaining to cell B, as cell B gains water by osmosis, it increases the depth of the size and then it swells. Okay? It causes it to swell and eventually burst. This is what we call cell lysis. Okay?